No, you can't have it picked up here. Why not? I'm on my way out to the farm. That's okay. I'll just leave it with the doorman. Where's the phone? Um, Emily, why don't you uh, just give it to me and I'll express it out. Just tell me who to call. Meg, I can't do that. I would never inconvenience Tony Hill's wife. Besides, I have to give the express company our account number and I have to get an air bill number in case there's any problems with it getting there. Look, Emily, I'm not going to play games with you. Either you give me the envelope or go back to the office and have it expressed out there. Well, I guess I'll take care of it from the office. And when Tony will calls, I'll be sure to tell him he can reach you at the farm. Thank you. He already knows that. Okay, I'm just trying to be helpful. Okay. <laughs> have a nice evening. Yeah. You too. Well, apparently Meg doesn't want me to know Rod is there. Guess that means she doesn't want Tony to know either. Was that Emily out there just now? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry it took so long. I just didn't want her to get suspicious. Maybe it would be simpler if I left. Oh, really? no, you can't go. Yeah, I can. I should. No. I mean, we haven't had a chance to talk. And I got a seafood salad in the fridge. We can have for dinner. I, I got it when... Well, before I knew Tony was leaving for San Diego. I'm going to get myself some juice, use some wine. Just relax, stay here, enjoy the view. Okay. I've got a lot to tell you next time we talk. Why don't you give me your number? All right, I'll wait to hear from you then. All right, goodbye. Well, we were both wrong. It wasn't the vet, and it wasn't Mr. Anderson. It was this old pal of mine from the Bear Claw Ranch in Montana. He just got laid off, and he's been traveling around. That sounded so much like Kirk Anderson. Speaking of old friends, have you gotten in touch with Dusty yet? Yeah, this afternoon. Actually, he called Lily at the stables. You did? Was he really surprised to hear from you? Could say that. We had a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Did he say when he was coming back? No. I, maybe he told Lily. Why? Well, college starts in a, another two weeks or something, and knowing Dusty, he'd want to come back and organize his whole schedule by now. Well, I can see he hasn't changed. When we were on the rodeo circuit, Dusty always had his horses and events picked out way before the rest of us. Well, that's odd. He told me that before he came here, his whole life was kind of chaotic. Well, Dusty was probably telling you a few tall tales. That's another thing. But Dusty Donovan and I knew was probably the most straightforward, honest guy you'd ever want to know. It sounds like you and Dusty were pretty tight. Yeah, well, when Lily and Holden were in Wyoming last summer, I fell completely in love with him. Even though I knew it was hopeless. Why? Well, because he was still in love with Lily. Well, how'd you get over it? it? Took me a little while. But then I met Bo and everything changed. But now Dusty and I are really good friends. Hey, I'm off. Hi. Sure you don't want to come? No, I'll meet you there later, okay? Okay. Pam and I were just talking about Dusty. I never knew they were so close. Were. Past tense. There. That'll all hold you till I get back later. Here. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to go swimming. You did invite me, didn't you? No, I, I don't remember inviting you, but, but of course. I'm, I mean, sure. <laughs> don't worry. I, I wore my suit under my jeans so I could go swimming with Lily at her family's pond. Well, look at you. Looks like you're going to give your hanky for the green light tonight, huh? Is that any way to talk to your sister? Have you decided to um, save her Lily's party? I don't even know if she wants me here. Why do you say that? Because of some of the things she said earlier. Oh, yeah? Where is she, anyway? Last time I saw her, she was shucking corn with Mama and Seth. And Caleb. Unless he figured out a way to get out of it. You know, Holden, you really amaze me. You're only making things worse. It's not possible. I'm just saying how it is. Well, I don't blame Caleb for getting upset. Because you're always coming up with some sort of remark or some sort of comment about him. You know that? 
Next, you're going to be telling me how quiet it is around here when I'm not around. Well, I just might do that. Yeah, I've heard enough of this today. I'm chasing that dog. Where are you running off to? I'm going out to the pond. Well, you look good, Ivor. That black will definitely turn Hank's hormones into gear. You know something, young man? You're not too old to have your mouth washed out with soap. That's and I right. Mean it. I remember that. I forgot. I, I've got, I got used to it when I was a kid. I remember all the mornings you used to come downstairs <laughs> foaming out the mouth like well, a rabid dog. Anything to get out of school. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet. Where's Lily? She took a walk. Oh, is that why Holden went out of here so upset? I doubt it. Why? I think their love boat done turned into the Titanic. <laughs> oh, that's a horrible thing to say. You know, oh. I just hope they work things out before tomorrow. Oh. Why? You know, did you see Lucinda's uh, lawyer's, the present that he bought by? I know. Pretty soon she's going to own that whole company. And because Lily is Lucinda's only living heir. And I mean, now that Sierra's gone. Sierra, how's Craig doing? Well, I saw him the other day. He seemed all right. Yeah. He's uh, spending an awful lot of time with Emily. Wait, time out. What is Holden's partner doing dating Holden's wife? I didn't say they were dating. Okay. Well, if they're not dating, what are they doing? Well, I don't know what okay. they're doing. I didn't ask him. Well, what do you mean? Hello? Oh, hi, Tony. No, Meg's not here. No, wait a minute. Hang on. Were you expecting Meg? No, no. I didn't think so. Tomorrow. No, no, we're not expecting Meg tonight. Oh, fine. Okay, bye. Something wrong? I don't know. He's calling from his plane. He said that Meg told him that she was going to be out here tonight. 